Hi, this is Dave, fellow ring guide. Welcome to another navigation task. This one, you've got to get from point A to find the tiny pond at point B, but with the added difficulty that you're doing this at night. So you're not going to see that pond till you're right on it. Um, yeah, you won't be able to see very far at all. So what are your options? Well, one option is to come south from A on this track, follow it down to pick up the road and then the road along before heading up to this wall or boundary line here. Now some people suggested running all the way along the road to this point here where it turns north and coming northwestwards up this track. And I don't see the point of that because you could get to this track here and come up. So I know that if you get to there where the road turns north, you'll know you're definitely there, but you're going a long way out of your way to go to there and then back it on yourself. Because here the road crosses this stream, so there'll be a bridge there, a 90 degree bend in the road. So 100 meters further on from there, you just take that track northeastwards and then in to there. Someone suggested you then walk on a bearing from there to the pond, but that's almost 400 metres on rough ground, uphill, in the dark, looking for a tiny feature. And there's also no catching feature beyond it until you get to that point there. So you could imagine that you'd miss that slightly to the west. The ground continued to rise, so you could end up here somewhere before you, you knew you'd missed it. So I try and find an attack point that's closer than that. So, for example, the end of that wall there. So, option A looks something like that. So, going in and then that, taking that final leg, walking on that bearing for 150 meters to find the pond. So that, that route is a total distance of 3.17 kilometres with 176 metres of climb. So over three kilometres there. Can we go shorter? Well, what about, let's get rid of that and look at another option. What about going more straight line? So up the hillside, across bank top hay, picking up this feature, which is a drainage ditch, um, and then following that down and along this wall and then attacking the pond from either a little kink in the wall there or the head of this stream. So option two looks something like that. You probably actually follow the end of those trees up and then straight across and in. Your final um, leg on the attack point from there, that's 190 metres there. So your total route is 1.5 um, kilometres, or just over 1.5 kilometres across to there. So that's half the distance of option one. Option one is certainly easier to follow. You're less likely to go wrong because you're hand railing the stream and then you're along the road and then you're on a good track up to here and following the wall in before you go on the last little bit across. This one is much more across open country, but you've got this feature here to find. And if you miss that and ended up dropping into the stream, then all you've got to do is follow the stream down pick up the wall and then into that bend in the wall. Got a slightly longer final leg to get to your pond. Both of them, you'd notice that you, you'd be able to tell if you'd gone too far. So for this one, it's going up, up, up to the pond and then from the pond, beyond the pond, it's flat. So if you found yourself going flat and then downhill, you'd gone too far. On this one, it's, it's that up to the pond and then again flattens off beyond the pond. So you'd know that if you're going flat, 
actually gone too far. Um, faster running on the pink option, slower running but much shorter on the blue option. So um, it depends on what your preference is. I would suggest that the blue option, even though it's rougher ground, would be quicker because it's much shorter. So those are your options. Choose whichever one you'd you do, or you might have come up with something completely different. Um, but that was the challenge. So hope you got it right or learned something from it. Keep your eyes open for more of these navigation challenges. Thanks for watching.